Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. For today's review, we're going to take a look at the Kyoto Revel Tech Figure Complex Amazing Yamaguchi Revel Tech Series number three, Venom. And straight off the bat, the packaging looks awesome. You can see the figure inside through this window, and you've also got a shot of the figure here. And you've got all this nice Venom artwork kind of cut away, which is a bit of a shame, but you can see it there. Photo of the figure on the side. And on the back, you've got this nice comic strip style presentation showing off the articulation and the um, optional parts for Venom. So this is really cool. And on this side, you've got a few more comic style strips here. And on the top, it's a little bit simpler. And on the bottom, some company information and a very nice artwork of Venom there. So let's get this guy out of the packaging and have a look at what's inside. And here's the inside of the packaging. So you can see Venom is very nicely tucked away in there. There's plastic sheet to protect it from paint rubbing during transportation. And I think on the back here, there is a Revel Tech stand. And here are all the accessories that Venom comes with. Uh, let's take a look at the backing card first because it is quite nice. So you've got a nice artwork of Venom here. There's a little logo here and it makes for a very good background to display your Venom figure. And now for the rest of the accessories. You get um, his tongue which is articulated. Very nicely painted. It's got this glossy kind of organic look to it and it just plugs into Venom's mouth like so and you can twist it around so that's pretty cool you also get this optional face plate so this one it's got like a slightly wider eye on the left side so I think it's for him to look sideways but you do have to kind of pop his head off and pop the white bit out um, I have tried to do it but it's a little bit tricky um, but I'll give it another go later on but you do get this piece here and you get two shorter um, claws or tendrils and it is articulated in the midsection very nicely painted very nicely sculpted it looks nice and sharp and deadly and these clip onto or peg into the back of venom so there's four holes on his back that you can plug these tendrils onto into and you also get two longer ones and they're pretty much mirror images of each other again very nicely sculpted nicely painted got some sharp pointy bits and they are articulated in the middle as well with Revel Tech joints so you can swing it around and things like that and on these ones there's actually uh, peg holes on the midsection so I think you can actually you know, combine the two and make them into one giant one. Actually, you've got a hole on this one too, so you can plug in one of the short ones and make a really long kind of tendril coming out. So that's pretty cool. So there's a lot of playability with the accessories. And I'll just quickly stick these in his back to show you what it looks like. The holes are a little bit tight. Um, this is the first time I've stuck these on oops and sometimes the real tech joints do come apart but they kind of just peg back in so nothing to worry about there if they do come apart And that's what it looks like with all the bits attached. And with that optional faceplate, you kind of just pull the top of his head off, and it's just held in by one Revel Tech joint. And you have to take his 
head apart and it is quite tight but I'm sure you can do it oh there it is so it comes apart like this and you just plug this piece back in and now you've got him kind of looking towards the side I really love the proportions of this Venom he's got a large upper body long arms so he looks quite kind of sinister and strong at the same time um, the only thing is I don't really like how the articulation kind of works on his shoulders he's got this weird plate that comes down and articulates here so he's got this weird action going on but if you close it all up, he looks okay. Uh, the sculpting on the actual body is really nice. You can see there's a lot of details on the veins, spikes, tendrils type kind of coming out of his arms. And the symbiote um, symbol is very well done. It's actually sculpted in and very nicely painted. This midsection here is a little bit weird. It's kind of just like a tube sitting in there that covers the joint. So it does tend to kind of rattle around a little bit. Uh, just coming back to his head, I really do love the sculpting of the head. The teeth, they're all very nicely defined and very well painted. And on the inside of his mouth, you can see it's all nice and glossy and pink in there. So it looks very organic. And same with the tongues, sorry, tongue, singular tongue there. So that's really nice. And when you close the head, he looks so mean. Really, really nice. And on the back, you've got the symbiote, with um, well, the Spider-Man symbol again. Nicely painted and nicely sculpted. And it does kind of... Uh, discontinue there if you move the shoulder plate down so just watch out for that and the legs are really well done as well lots of vein detail there very muscular looking and the feet is very nicely done as well nice sharp pointy toenails and it's interesting to see that um, Reveltech sort of have moved away slightly from Reveltech joints. For this figure, you've got standard uh, swivel joints for the hips and the kind of kicking outwards joint and also for the knee joint. So I'm actually kind of happy about that because Reveltech joints tend to be a little bit floppy. If you can see his upper body, it wiggles a lot, which is what I don't like about Reveltech joints. They can hold poses, but it makes the figure very loose at the same time so it's nice to see that they've kind of moved away from that for the major joints down here and just one quick look at the hands it is individually articulated which is really cool oh actually apart from the last two digits which are kind of stuck together the middle finger and the index finger is individually articulated so you can get a lot of posing out of that. The thumb is articulated as well, so that's really cool. With his head, he can look up that far. And he can look down that far. And he's got a bit of side-to-side -side tilting. But he's, as you can see, the Reveltech joint doesn't like to stay in place. It kind of bounces back, so that's not great. He can rotate a little bit at the neck. Yes, and then he can open his mouth and close his mouth so that's cool and for the shoulders so as I mentioned earlier he's got this weird shoulder plate here which allows him to kind of swing his arm down and back up here to the standard position it also kind of opens up a little bit there he's got a rebel tech joint for the actual shoulder joint so he can lift up his arm that much down there and obviously you can swing it around the peg as well and no bicep swivel but he does have a, a Revoltech joint for the elbows so you can 
swing it around here like that, around the peg, and he can bend his arms quite a lot, which is pretty good. So it bends pretty much back onto itself. And Revel Tech joint for the wrist, so he can go in with his wrist, out, and around. And articulated fingers, he's got thumb, index finger, middle finger, and then the fourth and fifth finger are one. And then coming down to his abs, he can crunch forward that far, so that's pretty impressive. He can crunch or stretch back that far, but you do get the gap at the front and also a huge gap at the back. And you can obviously rotate and then you can do side to side, but with the Revel Tech joint, again, it kind of bounces back, so it's not ideal. Very wobbly. And then his waist, he can rotate at the waist. And then coming down to his hips, so he can do this much of a split. He can kick forward that far. Can kick back not too far just there and he doesn't have any thigh rotations he's got single joint hinge joint knees but it has been cut out so that he can kind of bend back onto itself so that's pretty good and then with his oops off comes his head with his ankles he can point down that far point up that far and it does have uh, ankle pivot which is good and he's got a toe joint and in terms of height he comes in at just under 17 centimeters which is about 6.69 inches and now for some size comparisons first up here he is with Marvel Legends Peter Spider-Man here he is with Marvel Legends Anti-Venom here he is with Revel Tech Deadpool here he is with SS Figure Arts Son Goku here he is with DC Icons Green Lantern. And lastly, here he is with Marvel Legends Cyclops. A couple of things I want to mention before we go into the final thoughts. So the first thing is, this head cover is now very loose, the peg, after I peeled off the original head cover. And it kind of just falls off quite easily now. So just watch out for that. You might have to put some nail polish on there to tighten up the peg. So that's one thing. The other thing is I have seen on other uh, on forums and on other Facebook groups that um, the knee joint um, can break. So be careful with the knee joint because once it breaks, you can't just replace it like a Revel Tech joint. It's actually a uh, built-in kind of peg into the leg. So watch out for that. Okay, so overall, I think this guy looks ridiculously good. The sculpting is really, really nice. Uh, we've never had a Venom like this before. He looks organic and he looks mean. And the proportions are really, really nice. But uh, having said that, I'm still not a fan of the Revel Tech joint system. As you can see, I'm holding this guy pretty still, yet his upper body is wobbling all over the place. Yes, he can pull off some really awesome dynamic poses, but in order to get him to stand there properly with those poses, you have to really work the balance of the figure because there's so much wobbling going on. But it is quite satisfying once you get him in a very nice pose. And the scaling of this guy is perfect with Marvel Legends figures. So that's really, that's a big plus. I definitely recommend this figure to any fans of Spider-Man or Spider-Man's foes. I think this guy looks really good. And he does have really good posability once you get past that Revel Tech joint system and the wobbliness of it. And that concludes my review of the Revel Tech Venom action figure. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time for another toy review.